do you have any idea about user space and kernel space no i d i don't have any idea about this okay so basically the linux is divided into two space okay the one is called the user space and another is called the kernel space okay uh there are three three phases like there is a hardware okay there is a driver and there is a application and the application is running in the user space and the driver is running in the kernel space are you getting my point yeah the application run on the user space okay so applications like this we wrote here a application that is called the hello.c this is called the application okay yes it's using yes. the libc library and it will be running yes. in the user space okay and there is some another application that is called linux device driver okay there is a driver yeah. let me compile it i will explain this driver okay i'm just running this driver into kernel space do you know d message the message coming from devices what is that yeah d message Can you see this log? Hello? Yes, I can. Yeah, this is coming yeah, from Yes, the, yes. It's coming from the kernel space, okay? Here is the application. When I will insert this driver, it will print a hello. Okay? When I will remove this driver, it will print bye bye. Okay? it's a very small driver basic driver very very small like hello world so did you saw this message this is the driver hello? yeah this is the driver that's a linux driver and now it's inserted here you want to see that yes this is the driver right now i inserted it with this command okay you you want to remove this driver let's remove hello see there is no driver now I think we should check the message bye bye. Can you see the message? Can you see this message? Yeah, I see. Bye bye. bye. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. This was our driver, and this driver was when I'm. I wrote this driver when I insert this driver. It should print hello. When I to remove this driver is setpoint bye bye okay and this this message was coming from the kernel space oh yeah so do you understand the first application was running in the user space and the second dot q hello dot q hello dot q q yeah hello yeah was built for a kernel okay yeah see this is a linux kernel and right now we are working on the pc 
and this was a make file earlier i talked about the make file and this was a make file yeah when i will write a make it will compile this okay and here is the linux kernel can you see we was using this one yeah for compilation this is a linux kernel so linux had a right yeah this we was using what it is is a yeah this was written in the make file did you saw are you getting something can you explain a little bit of one see we was compiling uh, a driver a very small driver that is called a hello.ko when the driver would be inserted it will yeah. print hello when it will be removed it will print bye bye and this driver was compiled for this particular platform that is x86 okay so if you want to compile any particular linux device driver you have to use a linux kernel okay because you want to execute your driver in that linux kernel that's why so that's why my make file was containing the driver uh, linux kernel path kdir means the kernel driver 